Hello guys, today I want to speak to you about this Christian reaction to what's happening in the world today, specifically this crisis of the virus, coronavirus, and also these 5G networks. And there is something that is going on, brothers, that I see all over the place on Facebook. And also when we read the news, we see that now, for example, in the UK, uh, there is this reaction. People are going around and uh, setting fire to these 5G towers. And not only that, when I look on Facebook, for example, a lot of Christians, many are all into this kind of revolution reaction. They're encouraging Christians to fight against these things, to go and set fire on these towers, or they say that they're coming to take over. There's the martial law. They're even going to go into our homes. They're going to push this vaccine on us, that kind of thing. This reaction, brothers and sisters, is not a reaction of somebody who is courageous. It's exactly the opposite. Because if we really trust God, if we really trust Jesus Christ, we know that he is fully in control of the situation. Somebody who trusts God will not be fearful and also will not fight back, will not encourage revolution. If we want to encourage revolution and going against these things, that means we are fearful and we want to take things into our own hands. We're not going to trust God with it. That was not a reaction of the early church. The early church, when they were facing persecution, they didn't go around encouraging people for revolution. They were being led to slaughter and they took it without opening their mouths. They were crucified and they were led to be eaten by lions. I want to read to you from the book of Matthew, chapter 26. This is when the high priest sent people to capture Jesus, to crucify him. This is verse 51. And behold, one of those who were with Jesus stretched out his hand and drew his sword and struck the servant of the high priest and cut off his ear. Then Jesus said to him, Put your sword back into its place, for all who take the sword will perish by the sword. Do you think that I cannot appeal to my father? And he will at once send me more than 12 legions of angels. But how then should the scriptures be fulfilled that it must be so? I'm reading this passage, brothers, because we see that Jesus was not interested in fighting back. He told his servant to put back his sword where it was. He told him that everything that is happening, it's according to the will of God. That is why it's happening. Scriptures are being fulfilled. Jesus was interested in fulfilling the mission that the Father gave him. All through his life, many people tried to kill him, but they couldn't lay their hands on him because his time has not yet come. This is exactly what is happening today. We want to draw up the sword and fight back against something that God has fully control over. When we try to fight back and encourage revolution and start to go and encouraging that people rise up and go down and not accept this and go set fire on these 5G towers and that kind of stuff, that is a reaction of fearful men. That is not a reaction of people who trust God, who trust Jesus Christ. If we trust Jesus Christ, we know that anything that might happen is because he is allowing it to happen. If you think that by your actions, you cannot prevent things from happening, you are completely wrong. God, in the book of Revelation, we see that he allowed the devil to have power so that he does things. God is fully in control, and it's God himself who leads his people to be tempted. That's why we see, even when Jesus was being tempted, we see that the Spirit led Jesus to be tempted by the devil. It's the Holy Spirit that leads the children sometimes to be tempted by the devil, and that strengthens our faith. If we trust Jesus Christ, we won't be encouraging to go set fires. We won't be encouraging revolution. 
We trust God and we trust that Jesus is fully in control. We are not here, brothers and sisters, to fight, to draw up the sword. We are here to follow our Lord Jesus Christ himself and to trust him fully in every circumstance, whatever is happening. It's going to happen sooner or later. We cannot postpone it by fighting back. If we want to postpone it, the only way we can do that is to pray to God and to repent, purify ourselves and pray for this whole world. Maybe God will have mercy. He will give more time so that other people repent and join the fold of Jesus Christ, become true sheep, become true Christians who are counting on the Lord Jesus Christ, who trust him and who turn away from their own sins to follow him. This is what we should be busy with, not encouraging revolution and not being busy fighting against what we think are conspiracy theories. I hope this message helps you, helps anybody who is facing these things, who is reading these posts of other Christians and these news happening all around the world.